Welcome back to your Sacred Sexual Awakening. And today we're on the third principle, which is, I love my life. Mm, follow your passion and feel alive every day. Find your purpose and start being in service to our planet with your unique gifts. And this could be many gifts. So I'm with the intergalactic, <laughs> full powered Dakini priestess, all the way from the tantric arm of Pornhub. Oh. 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 My God. Oh. So, what is your purpose? How have you found your purpose? And how do you feel passionate and alive about it every day? Mm. That energy that just happened right there mm -hmm. is certainly part of my purpose and certainly part of the pleasure. And the pleasure becomes the purpose and the purpose yes. just becomes the path and then the path becomes... Everything. A friend of mine once said, Shaft, you are just the sum of all of your hobbies. Mm. And it's true. I like my hobbies. <laughs> yeah, I love my hobbies. Yeah. Yes. And it becomes my purpose. And mm. my purpose becomes my passion. And my passion becomes what pays my mortgage. And then everything just happens to be really fun and mm. like great all the time. Yeah. So once upon a time, I was a... A bang, a, a, a very, I was brought into a, a very strict, devout Bangladeshi family, so we, I had very pushy parents who always wanted me to be you know, successful. Doctor, lawyer, uh, architect. Uh, but I was an artist. Um, I, I was really good at making pretty pictures. So in the end, I decided to make pretty pictures for uh, Adidas, Converse, uh, Smirnoff, um, uh, Fox TV, Shell Oil, <laughs> Uh, Coca-Cola, shh, um, oil of Olay, shh. Um, so I'm working for the biggest uh, companies like uh, Saatchi and Saatchi and other things. Check out my LinkedIn account. That's my CV. I became an art director and my passion became my job. And then, then I had a burnout, um, as you do when you work in one of the most stressful uh, environments in the world, which is um, advertising. Uh, and from selling false dreams, I ended up selling hope, self-love positive dreams. I became a unicorn. Um, and that became my purpose. And then I had another awakening. And then Tantra became my purpose. So what I'm trying to say is, your purpose is forever evolving. It's not just one pur purpose. It's one purpose at a certain time. So now my new purpose is to find out what it is to be a human, to be a sacred sexual Jedi, to be in service to my community in Tantra Town by organizers, organizing the most magical play parties and yeah. being in service and worshipping the goddess mm -hmm. and helping women overcome their sexual traumas by giving yoni massages and empowering men and women how to connect with themselves first mm -hmm. so they could connect with others and whenever I find a hobby the world find out, finds out about it so I once started this million million unicorn movement and then 50 million people found out about Tantra through my viral videos that I've done and and it's just forever evolving and that's a beautiful thing about having passion having purpose and living your truth any thoughts <laughs> mm. yeah it is definite it evolves and for me it refines my purpose has just been refinement learning what I love and then learning how to love that more deeper, like deeper and true and how to then express in my fullest honesty, like unbound by all of the other maybe struggles I've came into or had to go through to come into where I am today. And um, it's, it's been a wild ride and being someone who is so passionate about sexuality and Tantra and these controversial topics that are taboo for a lot of people and a I lot like of societies. I like to call it Tantraversy. Tantraversy. Carry yeah, on. that's the song you gotta <laughs> make still. Tantraversy is, you know, a lot of stuff can come come your way to maybe create, oh, is this really my path? Is this the best path that I can be on? Is it really servicing the world? And then when I see and be and breathe in a community that either I have created or like Shaft has created, when I'm there and I'm present, 
uh, everything, all of the doubts just leave my body because in that moment, I just know that this is what I'm, my heart knows. And listening to my heart and my gut and my body, like we just talked about the other day, listening to my temple that I so much want to take care of. And when it says, I love this, I love this path, I love what I'm getting from this, the awakenings in my mind, the awakenings in my heart, the awakenings and the release from the pain that I, you know, that I did endure um, with sexuality. So following, following this and listening to our bodies and our purpose is, is incredibly important mm -hmm. and um, continually keeps me in this knowing of sharing also what sexuality with men and women and um, clearing the past, especially with men. I've worked with men for five years and I've, I've seen a whole gambit of the differences of someone who's practicing sacred sexuality and someone who isn't and how that has an impact on me as a woman and how that has an impact on my view of men and then how that becomes a passion. It evolves just like Shaft is saying. Hmm. So yeah, following your body let it, letting it change, letting it be refined, knowing that you might not be the greatest at your path right in the beginning, but that doesn't matter. It, it takes time to grow. It takes, you know, water and energy and sunlight, just like a plant. Mm -hmm. And um, knowing that it, can, <clears throat> it's a, it could be very slow and it could be fast. And that could be something that you also tap into with your law of attraction and how fast you want it to come, but really allowing it to be there and allowing it to grow at the pace it will. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. Yes, I believe that um, we all start doing something that our parents and society wants us to do. Yeah. So we're not actually living our true purpose. It's only until we hit a crisis, awakening is what I like to call it, um, is when the great unravelling happens and then your true passion becomes um, aware. Uh, and it shows itself. And the, usually what I found for myself is what healed me the most became my passion. Uh, and something that I'd like to share. And yeah, it's basically knowing that you're so passionate about something that it becomes your purpose. And it doesn't matter if you make any money from it or not, but one day you're gonna be so embodied mm -hmm. in your passion and in your purpose. Mm -hmm. And people will go, we need a specialist in something. Who does that? Oh, there's a guy down the road who lives up a hill. He, um, he's really into this thing. It's really weird, but he does it. Uh, and then people start coming to you and they'll start walking up that hill and sitting in your presence and want to be next to someone who is so embodied in their passion and purpose. Mm. So yes, start to uh, live it, breathe it and be it and be in service to this amazing passion mm. that is this planet mm. with your unique gifts. Okay. Find out more in my book, What is Tantra? Link below. See you tomorrow. Mwah. Mwah. Jesus and Shaft out. Ooh.